Welcome to episode 2 of the hunt for dragon armor. This is a series where, you guessed it, we hunt for all pieces of dragon armor. As you know, in last week's episode we hunted the rarest piece of the puzzle and got extremely lucky with the drop only a couple hours into the grind. With the dragon full helm now in our possession, it was time for us to pick the next item to hunt for. The dragon plate body seems like a pretty good choice, but unlike the dragon full helm, the dragon plate body isn't dropped by any monster in the game. It actually needs to be assembled by combining three separate pieces. A puzzle within a puzzle, if you will. These pieces are known as the Dragon Chain Body, Dragon Metal Shard, and Dragon Metal Lump. Now while the Dragon Chain Body is a rare drop from many monsters in the game, there is one that we can kill for the best and fastest chance at getting it. That monster is the Calphite Queen and it has a chance of dropping the Chain Body at a rate of 1 in 128. The Dragon Metal Shard is by far the easiest to obtain since the only way of getting it is to buy it from the Myths Guild Armory directly. And the final piece is where the grind truly resides. In case you didn't know, the chance of the lump dropping from the Rune Dragons is 1 in 5,000. So this is where I'll be spending most of my time on the hunt for the plate body, and this is where I am going to begin. I hope you enjoy. So as for the gear setup, I've opted to go with a tanky setup since there is a strong possibility that we're going to be here for a very long time. Now of course, if you want more kills per hour, make sure you bring Bandos Armor or Torva if you have it. I've never actually used Torva myself, but I feel like it would be a nice balance of more strength bonus and tankiness if you compare it with the Bandos and Justiciar setups. Overall though, I think Justiciar is still king here because this is a very popular AFK money making spot and just this year does a great job of reducing damage. Now as for the inventory, we have our Dragon Claws for the spec, our Max Cave for teleports, a Divine Super Combat Potion and Super Anti-Fire Potion, four Prayer Potions, Sharks, and a Rune Pouch to store the runes that the Rune Dragons drop. You could also choose to bring Alk Runes if you want, but since this is going to be sort of a loot video, I'd rather just save all the drops for the end. And as you saw there, we used our mounted Dixite Pendant to teleport to Lithkrin, and this is where the Rune Dragons are. Simply make your way north, and you'll see them shortly. Let's go ahead and check the mural to see how many kills we have on this account. We have 1,907 Rune Dragon kills. Those of you that have been longtime viewers of the channel will know that my very first video was actually a loot from 10,000 Rune Dragons video. And the reason for that was because I was maxing my main, I was doing boring stuff like running laps, so I decided to make an alternate account and make some money on the side. So unfortunately, at the time of recording this, the Dragon Metal Lump really isn't worth that much. Uh, if you consider how rare it is, it's a 1 in 5k drop and it's worth like 700k. Um, pretty sad considering that the, the Dragon Limbs are far more common and they're worth more than the Lump. So yeah, we're not here for the big drop you know as far as money goes but at least this place is good for just gp overall it's consistent money i think you're gonna make anywhere from like one mil to two mil depending on your gear setup and your levels so even if we're here for a long time at least we'll be making good money also i just noticed uh this text message or this chat message pop up uh, you gain extra prayer experience as the ancestral barbarian spirits watch over you i didn't know what that was at first and then i remembered uh, I think we get like some sort of prayer bonus uh, since we burned the uh, chewed bones in that mithril dragon video. So yeah, kind of uh, kind of neat. Let's see if I do it again. Yeah, we get 216. So this is actually a pretty big item. Uh, this is part of the full dragon armor that we're going for, right? I mean, ideally I wanted the plate legs, but I guess if we can't get them in the next couple thousand kills, then we'll be rocking a dragon plate skirt with our, you know, dragon full helm and dragon plate body. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess we have options now. Oh, no. Oh, no, I've been spotted again. We'll just play it cool. I almost died. <laughs> so much for playing it cool. Oh, look, we got a dragon med helm. Uh, I thought we had already got, gotten one, but no, that's our first one. Uh, luckily we already have, you know, a dragon full helm, but I suppose if we didn't have that, you know, we could swap it out for the med helm. That's respectable. I, I like the look of that one too. There we go. 
There is the upgrade that we were looking for. Dragon plate legs. Looks like we won't be forced to wear the dragon plate skirt. Although, you know, if I'm feeling it, if I'm in the mood, I might put it on anyways. I don't know. There we go. Dragon limbs for the collection log. I'm kind of surprised that I didn't already have them. Considering that we've killed 2,500 on this account already. So, a little dry. Hopefully that doesn't continue. So, currently we are at 1,008 rune dragon kills. Uh, no lump yet, but we have gotten the dragon limbs. And also, surprisingly, I haven't gotten an elite blue scroll. Which I think is like a 1 in 300 drop here. So... We're a little dry for that. There it is. There's the elite clue scroll. It only took 1,160 kills to show up. Went a little dry for that one. I was beginning to think that maybe I had uh, one in the bank, but I'm pretty sure that before doing this, I checked the bank to make sure that I didn't have this. So yeah, just a little unlucky, but that's fine. So apparently we can spam click this and if we have a clue oh well i just ate the cake <laughs> oh there we go interesting so it just makes your <laughs> it makes them disappear if you have a uh a clue it's kind of a funny funny way to go about avoiding that I thought it would just make it like to where it would like switch the option instead of it being uh, like loot. I thought maybe it would like switch it over to used or something. Interesting. All right, now that we have all the clues, we can go ahead and grab a master clue from Watson. I think I just threw the ring. <laughs> no way, man. I had auto retaliate on it and I threw the ring. I have to go back and get another one, don't I? Oh my God. Alrighty, and there we go. There is our casket. And we have a nice inventory of a bunch of random items. So, I guess we'll just dump them here. JK, I need those. All right, so here we are, master casket. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what's inside. If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be a third age pickaxe and a bloodhound pet. No, it's it's neither of those. But once again, collection log pop up kind of got me nervous. It, it got me a little excited for a bit. I thought I hit something big, but um, yeah, turns out it's just a fancy tiara, which actually it's actually kind of nice. Hmm. How much is it worth? And there's another elite clue scroll at 1400 KC. All right, so in case you were curious, uh, since we are getting elite clues from the rune dragons, anytime that happens, I am turning them into uh, master clues. So we get our easies and mediums from jars, and we go to the wilderness to get the hards from the hellhounds. This is pretty much the method that I've been using for most of my videos. Um, Whenever I want to do masters, just because it's eh, it's easy and it's cheaper than just getting the jars uh, for the hard clues. Um, so yeah, I just come over here, kill some hellhounds for a while, and I make sure that I'm wearing the uh, ring of wealth imbued to make the drop of the clue scrolls even more common. All right, there is the master clue. I'm just going to go ahead and guess, um, third age pick, third age, uh, druidic top and the blood hump at, I mean, it looks cool. There's a lot of cool looking stuff in here, but not really worth too much. So I was selling, well, actually, hold on. I have 141 masters completed. That's quite a lot. That's more than I expected. Anyways, um, I was selling my stuff off, right? That I got. And I noticed that the scroll book is worth 100. Well, I don't know how much it really sells for. I guess we'll find out. 130. Didn't these things used to be like 3000 GP? Like, 
I don't know how long ago, but I'm pretty sure they used to be worth like nothing at one point. Crazy flip for anyone who uh, bought a whole bunch of these at a really cheap price. So I had to look it up why they're so expensive. And um, man, I don't know. Either I haven't received one of these in a very long time. Because I mean, this was back in 2019 where they made the update that you can trade it into Watson to receive 10 to 20 teleport scrolls to his house. So I guess I just haven't received one of these in a very long time because the last time that I sold one of these, I'm pretty sure it was selling for an extremely cheap price. So kind of crazy. I wasn't recording, but there's another pair of dragon limbs. And we also got a clue earlier. No way. Okay, so... Oh, I literally just sold back the Pharaoh Scepter like a couple clue steps ago because I'm like, there's no possible way that they're going to give me the same step, right? I was wrong. <laughs> All right, there's the master clue casket. Let's just go ahead and open it right here because I'm pretty sure the blood on pet is in here. Nope. So with today's update, combat achievements have been changed. They are now unlocked through a point system. So you don't actually have to complete all of the achievements in a certain tier to unlock the rewards for that tier. For instance, before, if you wanted the hard rewards, you'd have to do all of the easy, medium, and hard combat achievements. Now, as you can see here, we've unlocked up to the hard rewards without even doing the hards or the mediums. So neat little update. So the hard rewards gives us a lot of different stuff. It's actually pretty nice. I'll throw a picture up on screen so you can see everything that it has to offer. But the big one for us is the 5% increased chance to receive a hard clue scroll. So that's going to help us since we've actually been using Hellhounds in the Wilderness to get our hard clue scrolls. So yeah, nice addition. Just got another elite clue scroll. That's our third one in about 2000 kills. Oh no, might be in trouble. Oh, my hero, my hero. And there's the hard clue scroll. Shout out to the person who flew in in my time of need. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that that's not mine. So I just got another elite clue shortly after completing the last one. And I don't really want to gear up again for another clue and go hunting for a hard clue and all that stuff. Uh, you know, the main objective is to get the dragon metal lump. So I think I'm just going to wait till the end of the day to do this clue. I know, I know, I'm missing out on potential clues, but you know, I'm just... I'm a little, I'm a little burnt out on clues, so yeah, I'm gonna take a break. Yo, no way. Okay, so shield left half. This is a big drop. We actually need this item. This is one of the many pieces that we need to make the dragon kite shield. I hope you're ready for some more puzzle within a puzzle talk. Okay, so he here's how it goes. The shield left half that we just got we combine that with the right half that we buy at the Myths Guild, and that will make the Dragon Square Shield. We then need to get a Dragon Metal Slice from Adamant Dragons and the Dragon Metal Shard from the Myths Guild. The same shard that we're using to build the Plate Body, we also need that to combine into the Dragon Kite Shield. So uh, yeah, pretty huge item that we just got here. It's, it's a really rare drop to get. I'm glad that we got it here because it saves us time from actually having to go and grind out the item like specifically. So really cool drop. There it is. You see, it's clues like this that really don't make me want to do every single clue that I get. Uh, this has got to be one of the worst ones by far. Uh, it requires a whole lot of items. You have to journey, you know, 10,000 miles away. And that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that they had the audacity to make it a third of a clue step. It's not even a full clue step. It very well could be. It's annoying enough, but it's only a third of one step. 
Insane. Yep, it's official. This is the worst clue step. Uh, I forgot an item. Uh, it's very easy to forget an item because there's a whole list of text of items that you need to bring. And when you have an inventory as messed up as mine, yeah, it's uh, it happens. All right, that should be the last clue step. Let's go ahead and do my favorite part, which is combining the three torn clue scrolls into a casket. Because that's how it works, apparently. Let's open it and claim our well-deserved reward. Decent money, but uh, was it worth the clue steps? Ah, uh, debatable. And with that kill, we've hit a pretty big milestone. Loot Tracker says that we're at about 2,800 kills, and value shows 100 million GP made so far. It's no Dragon Metal lump, but I'll take it. I, I don't think he's buying it. Not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've seen an elite clue scroll. I guess they heard me when I said that I wasn't really a big fan of doing them all the time. Because uh, we're definitely over drop rate for them. Just like we're over drop rate for the dragon limbs. 3700 kills and we've only received two of them. Hard clue obtained. Master clue obtained. Not bad. I'll take it. That is kill count 4,000. There we go. Our third pair of dragon limbs at 4,200 KC. That's another elite clue scroll. Another master clue completed. Let's go ahead and open it up. Not very good. Another pair of dragon limbs. Very nice. That's number four at 4,600 KC. All right, this is a very special rune dragon that we're killing. This will be number 5,000. So basically we're gonna get the metal lump from this kill right here because that's how drop rates work. Any day now. There we go. Here's the lump and that is it for this video. Or not. <laughs> 5,000 kills here and no drop, never lucky. All right, here's the final piece of the clue scroll. Go ahead and combine them together to make a clue scroll or a casket. Let's open it up. Decent value, I can't really complain. Another pair of dragon limbs coming through. So, cool little milestone reached a little while ago. Uh, we're currently at 5,520 rune dragon kills. But the loot tracker shows 200 million GP made so far. Foxy. All right, there we go. There's the casket. I'm going to go ahead and head over to the GE and open it there since we're going to get the uh, third age pick. Might as well find a buyer there. Don't want to put it on the GE. I think it sells for a lot more than max cash. So yeah, we'll just open it over here. All right, here we go. That's not a pick, but it's good money. All right, finally completed this master clue. Took a while to finish because I went super dry in the wilderness for the hard clue from the Hellhounds. I think I was like three or four times over drop rate, which kind of sucked, but it's finally done and we will be rewarded with our efforts with some third age. Not third age. And that's another elite clue scroll. Okay, so just like the last clue, this one took forever to finish. It took me a very long time to get the hard clue from the Hellhounds, so I might not be doing a hard or a master clue for a while just because of how long it took again. So uh, yeah, let's open it up and uh, get some third age. Not third age, but that is master clue 150. Neat little milestone. Finally, I get some more dragon limbs. That is the six, six dragon limbs that we've received in 7600 kills so a little dry another pair of dragon limbs shortly after the last pair and what do you know another pair of dragon limbs 
And another pair of dragon limbs. Yep, you guessed it. More limbs. I think the limbs drops have finally evened out. I've received like three or four in the past day or two, so yeah, nice. Currently sitting at 11 limbs at 8,979 kill count. Currently sitting at 9,010 kills. So, safe to say that we are over 9,000. I kid you not, I know I've said this many times before, but this was honestly the last trip of the night. I got it. Dragon Metal Lump. Of course, it's not anything special. I mean, it did drop with blue text, meaning that it's under, I think like 1.5 mils would I have it set to. Um, the dragon lambs are worth more than this, but we got it. At kill count 9,077. It's finally over. We're gonna go ahead and go for the back-to-back -back before we bank. Hopefully not die, there we go. And that's it. We're done here. What a grind it has been. I mean, in terms of the video length, I think we're at like 20 something minutes, but in all honesty, this was over a month of just grinding rune dragons all day, every day. <laughs> um, like I said, it was chill. It's, you know, pretty AFK considering how much money you make here. Basically just prints out money. It's like 1.5 mil an hour on average. And uh, yeah, it's just a matter of eating whenever you're low, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I don't really mind that we went a little dry for the Dragon Metal Lump. I mean, it was definitely deserved after how lucky we got with the Dragon Full Helm. But um, yeah, we made some good money. Over 300 million made in this one video. So very happy about that. Uh, I'm a little burnt out on killing these guys. For a straight month so uh, i think i'm gonna take a little break but the next item that we're gonna go for is gonna have to be the dragon chain body from cow fight queen because we need that along with the other piece i believe it's the shard uh to make the full dragon play body so that'll definitely be our next stop i just want to say thanks for checking out the video and thank you to all of my channel members once again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.